I am Kavita Kushwa, working as an assistant professor in electrical engineering department of Sagar Institute of Science, Technology and Engineering, Rati World, Bhopal. Today in this lecture, I am going to discuss Kandu reactor. This is the important topic for RGPV exam. So let's get started. The Kanto reactor is one of the nuclear reactor in which nuclear fuel is used to convert sorry to generate electrical energy. The main advantage of nuclear fuel is that it contains at least 10 million times more energy per unit mass than traditional fuel. The only downside of nuclear reactor is it creates dangerously radioactive isotopes. This kind of reactor stands for canadium uranium uranium and uranium this can comes from canadium d stands for deuterium and u stands for uranium the canadium the canada developed heavy water reactor so this canadium comes from the Canada. In the process of nuclear reactor, the chemical energy is converted into kinetic energy and finally into the electrical energy. The any nuclear reactor use a uranium 235 use uranium 235 atom and this atom undergoes to nuclear fission when a slow neutron collide with its nuclear and resulting in the formation of two lighter nuclei. This way chain reaction takes place in the reactor. This process produces huge amount of energy which gives so as you can see here this is the diagram of Kandu reactor. In this diagram, this is the reactor and this reactor contains a core. This reactor unit is also called as calendria and this calendria contains both heavy water coolant and the bundles of fuel rod. In Kandu reactor, fuel rods are used in bundles which forms the fuel tube and this bundled fuel rod placed in the tube that tubes known as your pressure tubes and this pressure tubes are placed in horizontal direction this calendria is hooked up to heat exchanger system and controlled energy shutdown 
mechanism in 2 to 3 seconds here this is the steam collector i can say the steamer of your candle reactor these are the turbine which is connected this is the high pressure turbine and this one is your low pressure turbine the low pressure turbine is connected to the generator which generates the electricity and this and the lower side of this turbine condenser is place which is connected to your feed water in canto reactor the heavy water is used for two purpose first purpose is the coolant and second one is as moderator the coolant means to transfer the heat and to moderator is used to moderate the chain reaction in the reactor heavy water takes the heat from these fuel rods and this hot water having high temperature goes to the heat exchanger in which the heat is exchanged from hot water to the moderator water or i can say ordinary water and this ordinary water turns into the vapor and the steam is collected by this steam collector the steam generation takes place in a secondary circuit and the primary circuit is the core and fuel system just like your pressurized water reactor in the canto reactor the control of the chain reaction is achieved by varying the moderator in the reactor and this moderator slow down the chain reaction or i can say this moderator slow down the fission process therefore there is no need of control rods this moderator is also used for shutdown purpose in this the steam is collected by this steam collector and this steam goes to the turbine and this turbine generate the mechanical energy which is given to your generator and this generator generates the electricity the water from the turbine goes to your condenser and the condenser feed the water to the feed pump and this water recirculate in the reactor for further use so this candle reactor is a heavy water reactor 
let's see some advantages and disadvantages of this reactor the advantage is the major advantage is that the fuel need not be enriched the reactor vessel may be built to withstand low pressure therefore the cost of vessel is less no control are no control rods are required therefore control is much easier than other types of the reactors just uh, as compared to your boiling water reactor the moderator can be kept at low temperature which increases its effectiveness in slow down the neutron speed the heavy water being a very good moderator this type of reactor has high multiplication factor and low fuel consumption now if we see the disadvantages the disadvantages are as follows the first disadvantage is the cost of heavy water is extremely high it is almost around 300 rupees per kg the second advantage is this the leakage is a major problem as they for two mechanically sealed closures per fuel channel canadian design generally are based on recovering high proportion of heavy water leakages as absolute leak tightness cannot be assured the third disadvantage is, is very high standard of design manufacture inspection and maintenance are required the power density is considerably low which is around your 97 9.7 kilowatt per liter i hope you all understand the kandu reactor thank you so much